I'm doing another Gossip and Get Ready with me today. Um, today we're going to be talking about some Michaela drama, and I'm thinking that this is going to go up like sometime next week, like Sunday, Monday, somewhere in that area. And I'm actually filming this on the previous Thursday. I learned about this from the last night when I was watching some drama videos before I went to bed. And I was intrigued because I have my own opinions. So I am not a Michaela Stan. I'm sorry if you are. I'm not going to bash her. She's just not like my favorite YouTuber. And I've talked about a oh, TikToker. Um, so yeah, I wanted to talk about this trauma because I, like, like I said, I'm not a Michaela fan. I've never been. She's just like not my favorite. She's not my favorite beauty guru, I guess you could say. I think, I have told you guys before that there are the beauty gurus that do not care about you or your money or, or like your health opinion, whatever. They don't care that you know, you have to work however many hours to purchase this product. They just want you to purchase the product and use their code. They just want your money. I just want to say, like, okay, so the drama that I had heard, it is people are thinking that Michaela lied in, I guess, like, she did a video talking about, like, what she got in her Christmas stockings or something. I don't know. I'm not on TikTok, so I don't know. On TikTok, I don't know the entire context. I'm just going off of what I had seen in the drama video my two cents on the matter because even though i'm not a fan of michaela like yeah i'm not a fan of michaela so this is not like support of her this is literally just like me giving my two cents on like my opinion because like yeah i'm not defending michaela but i'm also kind of like i don't think she did a good job explaining it so yeah love makeup i don't know why this freaking thing this light is not staying on I love makeup makeup is literally everything to me it is the best thing ever in the world it makes me happy I love it I like being a mom too. but like we're just talking about makeup because I'm a mom Michaela is not at this moment um so I love makeup and I come from a family who is extremely like family oriented and stuff so my mom actually absolutely hates giving out gift cards. She hates it. I don't know why, but she hates it. She hates giving out gift cards. So I like to get, like, she likes to give me makeup for Christmas, but she doesn't really want to give me, like, you know, obviously gift cards because she, she hates doing that. I don't know why, but she does. She hates giving out gift cards. She hates giving out money. She knows I'm obsessed with makeup, but here's the thing. I have a great paying job. My boyfriend has a great paying job. We literally are so gifted to be able to give the kids basically a new toy every week that they need. Like we are very gifted to be able to do that. So I basically buy makeup wise, whatever I want, whenever I want it. As being for Michaela, she probably buys whatever she wants makeup wise, whenever she wants it or gets sent to NPR. the way I'm trying like I'm trying to explain a background of it but that's be, like that is kind of like the background like I get whatever I want whenever I want so it makes it pretty hard to buy me a Christmas gift that I'm gonna like when you don't want to give me a gift card or money but you want to give me something that you know I'll like and you know it's makeup but you don't know what all I have what all I bought so me as me I Either will take my family with me shopping and show them, hey, buy me this, or I'll tell them something super duper simple, super duper easy to get me, and even the kids. Like, I'll tell them, like, something, like, last year, I told them, like, get them something Spider-Man for Kai. Very simple. They, like, obviously, like, the kids get the same toys a lot, like they do. They have gotten the same toys a lot because family members sometimes buy the same toys often are not like it just happens but me as somebody who wants to get something for christmas and my family wants to give me something for christmas i would ask for something or show them something simple something iconic is the beauty blender it is iconic in the beauty community you know like everybody i think uses beauty blenders or a beauty sponge like a beauty everybody uses a beauty blender let's just be completely honest everybody does if you don't 
because there have been times when I don't use a sponge. You've used a beauty blender in your makeup journey probably at least once. Let's just be completely honest. Like it's just iconic. It's an iconic product. So because of that, I, I do think Michaela did ask her family for a beauty blender because they might not want to get her a gift card. They might not, they might be like my mom and they might not want to get her a gift card. They may. So they may just want to get her a gift. So something super easy and simple for her to say to her family is, hey, just get me a beauty blender. It's not that hard for somebody in her family to go into Sephora, go up to the cash wrap and find a beauty blender set because beauty blender is always releasing Christmas sets around Christmas time and just grab a Christmas set. From what I had seen in that video, she had pulled out multiple beauty blender sets that were the same ones. And I don't think it would be smart of beauty blender to have sent her the same Christmas gift set over and over and over again. Like, I don't think that that would have been smart PR wise for them. I think that her friends and family probably did get her beauty blender sets and they probably just went and got her the same ones. I do think that that is realistic. I think that it's even more realistic to think that because people were saying like she gives beauty blenders away in her giveaways. She probably does give away beauty blenders that she gets from the actual brand beauty blender. She probably does give those away in her giveaway because she probably does have a ton of beauty blenders. You really should be switching your sponge, throwing your sponge away and switching it up every three months. I do that. You, you really, really should be doing that if you are using a beauty sponge. So it is theoretically a good idea to have backup sponges, at least four for a year. So I do think that she probably got beauty blenders for Christmas because people probably didn't want to give her money or give her gift cards. And she just probably thought like, okay, something simple that everybody's going to be able to find for me is going to be a beauty blender because they know how much I love makeup. It's me. And it's something I will use. So I think that that is what happened for Michaela. I also think that like, yes, yeah, she probably does give away the beauty blender she gets in PR and she probably just uses the ones, she probably uses the ones that were gifted to her by her friends and family and gives the ones that she got in PR away because she probably does have a lot. Reasons to call Michaela Naguera out. I don't think the, the that beauty, this funny. beauty blender situation is one of those reasons fine receiving a beauty blender a bunch of beauty blender sets from my friends and family for Christmas because again like you really should be going through and getting rid of your beauty blender every three months from my personal experience a beauty sponge actually tends to get better the longer you use it and the more you wash it it tends to get better at least for me that's my experience the product itself tends to get better so like, I think that it's just a good idea to have backups. And, like, it wouldn't bother me so much to have that many backups, honestly. We don't know what 2024 looks like for Michaela. I mean, honestly, she could freaking be having a baby for all we know in 2024. Like, we don't know what Michaela's 2024 looks like. She could be doing makeup on her friends and family where she needs extra beauty blenders. A lot of reasons to call Michaela Naguera out. I don't think that the beauty blender situation is one of them. I honestly think that this is just something really, really stupid that honestly somebody on TikTok might have wanted to like stir up some drama and maybe like get a little hype of the girl on TikTok with the lashes calling Michaela out saying it was an ad. I did see that and I'm not saying like anything bad about that girl or Michaela. I'm just saying I don't personally think it was an ad for Beauty Blenders because I can see Michaela's point. I honestly think she probably just asked for something super simple because Beauty Blenders are something that you go through so fast. You go through mascaras just as fast. What is she supposed to say? Go get me a mascara? I just think that like she's going to have more mascaras to try in 2024 than Beauty Blenders, honestly. Like Beauty Blender doesn't really release new products. Of the 
beauty blender. They just release different colors. It's the same beauty blender. It's just a different color. Whereas L'Oreal could come up with a telescopic lift magic mascara this year for all we know. Blender for something more reasonable for her to ask. And that's why she asked for beauty blenders. And like I said, I, I think that her family is probably a lot like my mom in the sense of she didn't want to ask for Ulta gift cards or Sephora gift cards. Maybe her family doesn't like giving those out or they don't like cash. I personally, I would prefer the Ulta and Sephora gift card. I even thought about like saving up an Ulta and Sephora gift cards this year and using them at the end of the year. I might still do that. One big Sephora or Ulta haul. Honestly, I would do Ulta. Ulta is actually getting all of Sephora's amazing brands like Natasha Denona, Charlotte Tilbury. Like, I think I'm going to go ahead and check out Ulta. Once I'm done with this video. For, you know, my YouTube channel, like videos that are going to be posted, what I'm purchasing for me and the kids, makeup wise and stuff for the kids. And I even do want to invest a little bit in some game gaming stuff. So I might even freaking just put like cash on my Apple cash card because I have an Apple cash card. Save it up there. I don't know. I actually don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do Ulta and Sephora next year in 2025. I think that that will be kind of fun. Four holds for everybody this year. What do you guys think about this drama down in the comment section? We can have a polite discussion like adults on the internet without being rude to each other, if that's what we so choose to do with having a discussion. I am going to go ahead and put this disclaimer here. I do reserve the right to delete your comment if I find it directed towards me or another commenter. Yeah. So I am excited. Like, let, like I said, let me know what you guys think about this drama. Everything is going on. Like, I'm just, I'm really excited. So much about lashes in case you want to recreate it. I did use the Natasha Denona Camel palette to create this look. So these are the Kiss So Wispy number 11 lashes. And uh, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about this drama. Let me know what you guys think about my opinion. Let me know your guys' opinion. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.